talk about a hero, a Utah man jumps into icy water and saves the life of another human being. Let's put his picture up full mass here. You see, heroes don't need guns, heroes don't need badges, heroes need heart. An Idaho Falls man decided to do the unthinkable to save somebody's life. There was a couple on their way back to pick up their children. They spotted a car driving down a boat ramp into an icy river. Now, that's a hell of a scene. Dane Entzi is his name and his wife were on their way back to pick up their children from a relative's house. This was after a weekend of celebrating their anniversary. Photo of the area where the woman was attempting to end her life. This was an attempt to end her own life being witnessed by this couple coming back from the anniversary. According to Dane, while driving over a bridge, his wife could see a boat ramp below and notice a car driving into the water full head on. Mr. Ensign drove closer to the car while his wife dialed 911. When he could not get close enough to the boat ramp with his car, he got out. He said, and I quote, I parked where we were, jumped out, climbed a barbed wire fence, ran across the canal and continued the boat launch, he said. NC saw the car sinking into the river and what that was notorious for dangerous undertow. He then saw a woman get out of the car and start swimming toward the shore. I immediately asked if she was okay and whether there was anyone else in the car. He said, she replied, I'm committing suicide and there was no one else in the car. I don't want to live anymore. The woman told Etsy that the water had pushed her out of the car and she didn't understand why. I told I don't know who you are, but I'm here and I love you and I'm gonna help you. NC said the woman, however, refused to swim to him saying she doesn't wanna live. She then started swimming away from the shore further into the freezing river. But she was running out of strength, that's when he decided to go after her. It was 19 degrees outside. Dane explains that the woman was too weak to resist his help. She was already too tired to even swim. I put my arms around under hers and began making our way back through the thin layer of ice to the shore where another gentleman had arrived who helped me pull her to safety. He said his wife was waiting nearby with blankets. They all huddled together until first responders from the Idaho Falls Fire Police Departments arrived. The couple then continued their journey back to pick up their children. They drove back to the scene two hours later, but it was clear. Um, I just want to say thank you to the uh, heroic actions, not only of you, sir, but really your wife too. It was a team effort. Um, let's put up the information for those who may be struggling with this kind of issue. We've all been there, including myself. If you are a loved one, if you feel distressed, call 988. The Crisis Center provides free and confidential emotional support. It is 24 hours, seven days a week for civilians and veterans alike, all right? Okay, Jordan, thoughts here. Yeah, this is really brave because as you yeah. know, and I'm sure many viewers know, just going after somebody in the water who is potentially drowning can be really dangerous for the, for the rescuer. So not only was it cold, not only was he wet, not only was it a very high stress, intense and quick situation. He could have been pulled into the current or pulled underwater uh, and it could have been a much worse outcome. So congrats to him, that's really admirable just to, without even stopping to think about it. It also shows the compassion people need yeah. in where they're having a really difficult time mentally. And the solution as illustrated here, is that a compassionate person who is there to help should be who shows up in those situations, not somebody with a gun. Touched on it when you intro this segment. And I think this is a perfect illustration of how we can help people in need in our communities in ways that are not militarized. It's pretty simple. This world will never change until we realize it is our responsibility to commit to actions to change it. If we continue to say things like, "Oh, that's not my concern, or that's not my job, or that's not my responsibility. Well, bad things will continue to happen to good people. 